Hey friends, welcome to Croxford Academy. I'm so glad you are here today. We are going to talk about beautiful Thanksgiving books, autumn books, my favorites, and ones that I have bought because I felt like they were worth it. And I wanna tell you what I'm listening to. It's on YouTube. It's a mix by Han Halidon Music. Classical Autumn. I searched it the other day just looking for some classical autumn music and it has been so nice just to sit and listen to this instead of watching shows or listening to other people talk, just listening to this beautiful music. This one's my favorite. Uh, Nuvole Bianche by Yunari. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I'm gonna link this below because maybe it's something you could listen to. We've been listening to it at night during dinner time and it's just wonderful. So um, let me tell you about some books that I have. So the first one I wanna talk about is my all time favorite Thanksgiving book. We were out of town visiting my sister a couple years ago and my husband bought this book for the kids because he missed them and he saw it at the bookstore and thought maybe they would like it. I love this book. The illustrations are beautiful. The, the, it's, it's just a gorgeous poem about Thanksgiving and things you can be thankful for. Thanks for Thanksgiving, for turkey and pie. Thank you for fall and gold leaves floating by. Thank you for school. I love to feel smart. Thank you for music and dancing and art. And I love this mother. <laughs> she's one of my heroes. The kids are being so creative and she's sitting and reading a book. It's amazing. There's another really sweet page where she is um, snuggling with the kids and reading a book. Thank you for mommy and warm, cozy cuddles. So this is a book that I would definitely always want. And in fact, I couldn't even find it this year and it, it worried me I was gonna have to buy another one because we have to have this book for Thanksgiving. Love this one. Of course, I love the Berenstein Bears. They have one about giving thanks and this is one about kind of their version of Sasquatch and he's not understood and nobody wants him around, but the kids of course discover that he's actually very kind. He saves them and in the end they invite Big Paw to Thanksgiving. His name is Big Paw. So beautiful book. I love this book. I talked about this in another video. Thank you, Sarah. This is about Sarah Hale, who is the reason we have Thanksgiving today, uh, the way that we have it. Um, she wrote president after president, telling them that we need to have a national holiday for giving thanks. And finally, Abraham Lincoln set it in motion because of a stay-at-home mom's letter writing. I love it. I mean, I think she had five to eight kids. I don't even know. There's a lot. And it shows, I love this, um, shows a picture of her with her children sleeping around her and she's writing a letter. <laughs> I love it. So really cool book. Your kids will love it. And um, we always talk about how important the, the written word can be. So of course, love Charlie Brown. Here's his Thanksgiving book. Tea is for Turkey is a great one. And it's a true Thanksgiving story. It's a play that these kids put on. And it's really fun because of course it goes through the alphabet, which, you know, is always helpful. <laughs> and uh, love countdown to Thanksgiving, this one here. I got two new books for Thanksgiving this year. And I'm so excited. The first one is just a fall book. Well, it's Goodbye Autumn, Hello Winter. So Sarah McKenzie in her Read Aloud Revival book club had Goodbye, Summer, Hello, Autumn. And it was so beautiful that I had to get this one, the Goodbye, Winter, Goodbye Autumn, Hello, Winter. It goes from the beginning of what autumn looks like and then eases, the illustrations ease into the changing seasons. Starting, you know, with this first page, it says, Hello, late autumn afternoon. I love the illustrations. The author is interviewed on Read Aloud Revival and he did the illustrations and the stories. Andy has a little baby at home. He was really sweet. It was fun to get to, to meet the author of these beautiful books. And then I'm very excited about this book here, Thanksgiving in the Woods. I've been hearing really great things about it by Phyllis Alsterf, illustrations by Jenny Lovely. Each year, 
family and friends gather in the woods to celebrate Thanksgiving among the trees. And it's a true story. These people right here are the ones who do it. And the pictures are gorgeous. It's this family, these families getting ready for Thanksgiving. He's packing what he's going to wear and shows them working together to get the dinner prepared, the place they're going to eat. And what I love about it is that it's just people from all different families. I just think it's really cool. When I was growing up, we had Thanksgiving with a family that was not our blood relatives. And we had this tradition with them for about 25 years where we had Thanksgiving and it was just my favorite holiday with them. The moms made it so special and I just, it was just so beautiful. And it reminds me of this book because Thanksgiving is about getting together with friends and family and just enjoying giving thanks to God for everything that he's given us. And I'm so incredibly grateful. So anyway, um, shout out to the Delts. They're amazing. I love that family so much and enjoyed every Thanksgiving I got to have with them. And so yeah, these are the books that I recommend for the fall. I hope you have a wonderful time reading books with your family all about Thanksgiving and giving thanks to our amazing creator for everything that he's done for us. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.